What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including Roman Reigns' next opponent revealed, WWE teasing a major John Cena matchup, a disgraced wrestler returns to WWE in a new role, an AEW star almost died in his return match, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out WrestleMania.co.uk and an on-wrestling channel, Incredible. Now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at Roman Reigns' next opponent revealed. Our top story today shares some exciting news in relation to the future creative plans of the reigning undisputed Universal Champion Roman Reigns. Despite Survivor Series War Games only taking place last night, we seem to already know Reigns' next opponent. According to WrestlingNews.co, Reigns will take on Kevin Owens at the Royal Rumble in January, which just so happens to be the WWE's next premium live event. The report also states that Sami Zayn vs Reigns is planned for Elimination Chamber, which is set to take place in Canada. Furthermore, WrestlingNews.co are indicating that a planned match for WrestleMania 39 is Zayn and Owens vs The Usos for the unified tag titles. It's clear that Triple H has a clear path for Reigns on the road to WrestleMania, and it'll be interesting to see just whom the game has selected as Reigns' opponents for the biggest event of the year. Next up, a major update on CM Punk leaving AEW. Now our next story looks at the huge development in the ongoing saga between CM Punk and AEW. Following the All Out press conference and the physical commotion between Punk and the Elite, the Elite was suspended, and meanwhile Punk's punishment for the infamous brawl was never disclosed. It's been extensively reported that several talents backstage in AEW don't want Punk returning to the company, and that the Elite are even mocking Punk both on Dynamite as well as their own YouTube series Being the Elite. In the latest update, Brian Alvarez has revealed that it's actually Punk himself who is seeking AEW to buy out his contract. It was previously stated that AEW could be looking to buy out Punk's AEW deal, but it looks like this directive is coming from the former world champion himself. Alvarez states that the issue is more complex than fans think. If AEW don't want Punk to return, which they seemingly don't, they should just release him. However, the issue comes in when examining Punk's status as an in-ring talent. Punk is currently on the injured list, so AEW could potentially face some legal repercussions if they release Punk in his current state. There's been a lack of updates in relation to if Punk could potentially return to WWE. There are mixed reports surrounding if Triple H is interested in Punk as their bad blood is well documented. Punk has made a few sporadic appearances undertaking MMA commentary duty since his AEW injury took place, so Punk certainly has options if he does indeed depart AEW. Do you think AEW should release Punk? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, WWE teasing a major John Cena matchup. A WWE appears to be once again teasing a match between John Cena and newly crowned US Champion Austin Theory. Last night during WWE's special edition of the bunk before the Survivor Series event, Theory would bring up Cena due to the event taking place in Cena's hometown of Boston. Theory would state that he's simply better than Cena before shifting his focus onto the US title showdown against Seth Rollins and Bobby Lashley. A Theory vs Cena was heavily teased throughout the summer and there were rumors that WWE were going to book the match for the SummerSlam event, but Cena wasn't available. It now looks like WWE could potentially be building towards doing the match, possibly at WrestleMania 39. It's believed that Cena will be working WrestleMania 39 in April, and there is no news in relation to who Cena could be facing at the big event, but Theory seems like a logical opponent for the WWE legend. Next up, WWE brings back disgraced wrestler in a new role. In a rather controversial move, WWE have decided to bring back Brian Kendrick in a producer role. Kendrick worked as a match producer last night at the Survivor Series, and it's unclear the nature or extent of Kendrick's role, but it appears to be strictly a producer one at this stage. Kendrick is a controversial name as earlier this year he was set for an appearance in AEW, however Kendrick's past comments related to tragic events such as the Holocaust surfaced online, causing widespread offence. That this is a risky rehire from Triple H and it could backfire once the wider fanbase finds out that Kendrick is back in the company. Next up, Triple H teases major changes coming to WWE PLEs. Ahead of WWE creative, Triple H appeared at the post-Survivor Series press conference last night and the game had some interesting comments to make in relation to the future of premium live events. Triple H acknowledged the rumors surrounding WWE moving away from the gimmick-themed events and the game seemed to indicate that events such as Money in the Bank Elimination Chamber will be sticking around for the foreseeable future. The game stated, Hell in a Cell is one of those things that is a giant blow-off, right? If you're calling somebody out in the end of something, you can challenge them to a Hell in a Cell. I hope all this speculation about Money in the Bank, Hell in a Cell, Elimination Chamber, maybe those go away. 
I hear you. I had a highlight of my career in a Hell in a Cell with McFoley and I calling each other out of the Hell in a Cell. Then when you've got something going, oh, all right, I'm tired of you. I'm going to challenge you to an elimination chamber with five other guys. It doesn't work, right? Same thing. That does it. I challenge you to money in the bank. I feel there's a difference there. I feel like we have to evaluate that. I feel like we fans have to look at the schedule and figure out what works best for our fans. Would you guys like WWE to move away from gimmick themed events? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Survivor Series War Game shatters company records. A war game saw WWE take a huge risk and deviate away from the traditional brand warfare matches that had become custom at the annual event. According to Triple H at the post show press conference, the event was an enormous success and it even shattered established company records. The 2022 edition of the event was the highest grossing Survivor Series ever and the most viewed Survivor Series event in company history. It's evident that War Games brought a lot of attention to Survivor Series this year and it seems only fitting that WWE continue with the War Games concept next November. Next up, an update on the WWE Draft. Whilst current WWE product is mostly well received, one of the things that fans are clamoring for is a draft to take place. According to Dave Meltz on the Wrestling Observer Radio, fans may have to wait a little longer before it takes place. Meltzer claims that Triple H and WWE are planning on delivering a draft after WrestleMania next year. Whilst this date could change, it seems unlikely that WWE would conduct a draft just before WrestleMania 39 in April. Next up, Kurt Angle to return for one match? A WWE Hall of Famer Kurt Angle has revealed that he's willing to return to WWE. Angle stated on the latest edition of his podcast that he would return to WWE for one more match with the one set condition. He would want a fee of $10 million. Angle justifies his price tag by saying that the WWE could afford it. Angle last wrestled for WWE back in 2019 when he lost to Baron Corbin in an underwhelming retirement match at WrestleMania 35. Whilst fans could welcome a more fitting retirement for one of the WWE's all-time greats, 10 million seems like a substantial amount that WWE may not be willing to pay. Next up, an AEW wrestler almost died in his return match. A Colt Cabana made his grand return to AEW television a number of weeks ago to face Chris Jericho. Despite this being a celebratory return for Cabana, it almost ended in severe tragedy. According to Cabana on his Art of Wrestling podcast, he legitimately almost died during the match with Jericho, as Cabana revealed, And I wanted to share the story of how I almost died wrestling Chris Jericho. So as I go to wrestle Jericho, I put on my compression socks, my knee pads, and my boots. And what I don't realize is that I have essentially just made a tourniquet for the bottom half of my body. My blood flow is absolutely perfect. So essentially what I did was restrict everything. And I remember vividly thinking, man, I can't feel my legs. I guess it's just the nerves, but it was the nerves. It was the anxiety, but it was also the compression socks. And then the eyes of the trainers are just like, what? As I was asked to lay back for the next two hours while ice was just put all over my body, I was educated as to why you should not professionally wrestle in front of 10,000 people and almost a million people at home in compression socks. Thankfully, he was okay. Nevertheless, this must have been an incredibly scary ordeal. And finally, Bianca Belair reveals a dream WrestleMania 39 opponent. Our final story today takes a look at recent comments from reigning Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair, who has revealed who she wants to face at WrestleMania 39. Belair would appear at the post Survivor Series press conference, and this is where she revealed that she has the desire to face either Rhea Ripley or Charlotte Flair. This was an interesting revelation from Belair as Ripley and Charlotte are two wrestlers that fans believe had the biggest shot at taking on Belair at WrestleMania come April. Ripley has been given a huge push of late, and Flair is currently off TV, but when she returns, it wouldn't surprise anyone to see Flair immediately ascend to the top of the card. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.